Uh, Liam, describe your emotions when you plonk that ball down the try line last minute. North Stand going absolutely crazy. And you've won the derby and, and scored a hat trick. <laughs> well, it got to the last 10 metres and I felt like I couldn't run, but I uh, managed to get over. And to be honest, it were like winning the lottery. I won't, I won't uh, deny that. Um, Obviously, massive rival we were working in Cass, and to get the winning try, just massive feeling as a young boy. As a game, Leeds changed hands two or three times at least, and looked like a point when Cass was sort of dominating midway that second half and got into the lead. It was going to be hard to come back, but the boys grouped together and, and got the win. And, and Ali, I suppose, as much as anyone came up with that big play towards the end to knock the ball loose. Yeah, uh, I thought Ali had a fantastic game today when he came on. Um, I mean, the call from the boys will just stick together. It's his last game. Obviously, as a group as well, uh, some of the boys obviously are moving on, um, and we just we just said basically let's stick together and uh, let's go out with a bang, and that's what we did. Uh, boys play with a lot of energy throughout, and when this team plays well, that's you know usually a, a key ingredient of a good performance is a, is a high energy and people like Ben Kikane and yourself providing it. Uh, how good a performance do you think it was? It was entertaining to watch. What was it like to play in? Uh, it was fast to be honest. At times, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I had to find my lungs. Um, I thought Benny had a fantastic game today, he showed loads of energy and he, he just shows what he can do for the club. Um, I just think, as a whole, I thought the boys stuck together and uh, we managed to squeeze a win at the end and uh, I thought we deserved it, to be honest. I thought the game would tip for tap um, and it felt good to beat Cass, to be honest. <laughs> and it's a nice way, although we've not achieved what we wanted to achieve this year by making the top eight. It's he stopped a bit of a rut with defeats and, and whilst there's been a lot going on outside the club to, or within the club, to end on a win, it just makes off-season a, a tiny bit easier for the lads to go in with a positive feeling and come back you knowing that we've, we've ended that run. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't really had much clue what's been going on upstairs um, and we've just, we've just said the call is stick together as a group. No matter what goes on, you know, we stick together. Uh, we came out today and obviously, like I say, it's his last, well, it's his last game together um, and we, we just said, let's go out with a bang. Uh, Never mind what's going on upstairs, and I think today, as a group of boys, we stuck together. And like I say, it's probably the best group of boys I've ever ever worked with within rugby. Yeah. I suppose sticking together is a key component for for everyone involved in the club, yeah. players, fans, staff, and uh, you know the fans at the end there. That feeling that you you're giving them with that try at the end, it's important that they stick in and keep with you as they have done today and through the last couple of years and, and through tough times before, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. I thought I thought the fans at the end, well, throughout. Throughout the season, to be honest, they've been good. I mean, when times have been hard, uh, I mean, we lost a few games on the bounce. They still came, showed the support week in, week out. And uh, it was good to see so many fans down today for the uh, for the rival game, yeah. And for you, just to sum up your season, you've got a bit of a run towards the end and you're probably going to remember this season for, for that last 30 seconds at least, yeah. aren't you? So uh, how do you feel you've developed? Are you looking forward to kicking on next year? I know it's hard to talk. <laughs> no one to talk about next year 10 minutes after the game's finished, but um, good year for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the start of the year, uh, went to see Rich, so like find out what my chances are with playing first team. He said I needed to work on li little things, um, so I went away, got my head down, worked on them little things. I got put out on Joel Reg Doncaster. Um, I really owe it to Doncaster. I mean, started playing well there, um, and if it weren't for them, I probably probably wouldn't, maybe not have got the chance that I got. Uh, so I really appreciate the time at Doncaster, um, and then obviously Rich gave me the chance in the first team and. Uh, he said I went well. Uh, I mean, the game against Huddersfield, it, it pulled me into office and he says, it, you know, he didn't play me for certain reasons, which I totally understood. Um, then he says, you know, you'll get a run out next week against Cass, um, which felt good, yeah, very good. <laughs> Cheers.